Wollongong developed around the most exploited labour conditions. Always the percentage of unemployed women was higher. Women were trying to get jobs in still works. The only work that women were really doing in Wollongong was piecework. I'm totally against coal seam mining because of the destruction it will do the country. The key risks locally are the risks to water. It's the struggle must be. I was just a working class kid. The Vietnam War was going, we had conscription. My birthday was one of the death marbles. The resistance will survive alive. Tore up the paper and I got involved in the anti-conscription movement. The struggle. Communist leaders of trade unions delivered the industrial goods. The Communist Party was trying to foment a revolution. A resistance. For all of the women, this was the first time they'd ever been to anything. We had a tent embassy outside the steelworks. The Communist Party is banned. Because I wasn't a very well-known communist, I would become part of that underground. They decided to take a stand to say the export of pig iron to Japan is immoral. The word was given to the police via the Labor Council that they were supporting us. If you didn't register for the draft, it was a two-year jail sentence. For every day I was in jail, there was going to be rolling stoppages. The resistance will survive. Every day there were marches of miners down the street. The police presence was insane. The streets were being roamed with the water cannon. There was the storming of federal parliament by Wollongong workers. There was mass protest and the bloke's life was probably endangered by the anger. If we're going to make social change, it has to be driven by local communities. We won in the Supreme Court and we won in the High Court. Landmark victory for the women who took on BHP. I am a revolutionary and I really want to make social change. The struggle must continue. This is probably one of the best things I ever did in my life. The resistance.